Well, hello again. And um, I want to talk to you today about moral integrity and what you will do and what you won't do. Indeed, I think it was Oscar Wilde who once said, a gentleman or a lady is someone who knows what they will do and what they won't do. And it's this point about what you say no to. Uh, far too often, we say yes to too many things and we get ourselves in some real scrapes. And recently I found I was given two opportunities. One was to coach a team of lawyers and the second one was to coach an individual whose integrity I was not certain at all about. And in both cases, while I agonized over it, I actually decided to say, no, this is not the kind of work I wanted to do. Thank you, I could recommend someone else, but this is not what I do. And by actually making space in my life, by saying no to those kind of things, I've just today won a marvelous piece of work, which I'm very thrilled to do, with someone who's really interesting, fascinating uh, character, uh, a public figure, and I wouldn't have had that opportunity had I accepted a piece of work which really wasn't what I should be doing. So think about what you're doing in your life and what are you saying yes to too often? Because if you're saying yes to a whole range of things which are not really you, you won't do it very well, you won't be very successful at it, and people who you work with will not be happy. So if you learn to go for the things that you really are good at and have the courage to say no to what you're not good at, a lot of good things come from it. I was with Hugo, uh, an old colleague of mine who was a partner in one of the big consulting firms, and he said they were given an opportunity to do some work in Saudi Arabia, and uh, all the different organizations were gathered around, they wanted to uh, set up an exchange, and they're all going, this is a really great idea, and Hugo actually said, no, I don't think this is a good idea, and this is not what you should be doing for the following reasons. And they all went, oh, and it's almost like there was complete silence in the room, but he was right. And he realized that you know, he wouldn't get the work. There was a lot of work, it was theirs to be won, but he'd said no to it. However, having said no to that and walking away from it, eight of the people who were present of the 10 all asked him to do further work with him, which was worth way more than what he would have won had he said yes to the first piece of work, which was with his integrity, it was not what the client should be doing. So think about what are you saying yes to when you should be saying no, and what space will it create when you actually then focus on what you really, really should be doing. Thank you.